Hey. Hey, honey, help me out. I have to be in court with Evan tomorrow. What do you think, this or this? I like them both. Ugh, they both suck. <laughs> honey, the women in Manhattan, they dress so nice, I look like I'm from Arkansas. Oh, guess what? There's this really famous cello player from China, Lee Fong something. Anyway, he's doing a big concert next week in the city, and the firm got all these tickets, and Evan gave his to me. So if you play your cards right, I'll let you go with me. There's always room for cello. <laughs> <laughs> you call him Evan, huh? Huh? Y your boss, you just call him Evan? Well, that's his name. No, no, I, I know, I know. I mean, just that, you know, my boss has been there six years and it's still Supervisor O'Boyle. Uh-huh. So you just walk around all day calling each other Evan. Well, he doesn't call me Evan. We get a little confused. I know, I know, I know. I just, you know, I don't know. He sounds like a great guy, right? I mean, partner in a big New York law firm, giving his secretary free tickets, driving her all the way home to Queens in his fancy Jaguar. You don't see a lot of that. Honey, if he didn't drive me home, how else would we have sex in his car? <laughs> it's not funny. Come on, you're being stupid. He's just being a nice guy. Oh, so he's just being nice then. Did he uh, give the cleaning guy a ride home too? No. No. So now is he nice or not nice? I'm a little confused here. <laughs> He lives on the island. We're on his way. What, you don't trust me? Uh, of course I trust you. It's just, you don't really know this Evan guy or how he operates. Come on, honey. He's just being a nice guy. Now, listen, I have a really great job and it's going well. I want you to be happy for me, all right? All right. All right. You know, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so it's okay. It's all right. I'm going to go wash up. I'll meet you in bed, okay, Evan? Oops. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, trying to find Carrie Heffernan. Oh, she's in Mr. Lazar's office. Thought everyone called him Evan. <laughs> Doug, honey, what are you doing here? Uh, I felt bad about being such an idiot last night. I thought I'd drive in and see if you wanted to go have some lunch. It's so sweet, of course I do. Oh, look, honey, this is my desk. It's pretty swanky, huh? I like it. <laughs> hey, look at this, I even got you something for it, huh? Oh, world's greatest golfer. It's, it's all they had in the gift shop downstairs. No, 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 it's good, it's good. Now I have a goal, right? <laughs> honey, this is so sweet of you. I'm just gonna make a quick copy and then we can go, all right? All right, yeah, I'll grab the elevator. Okay, hang on. All right. Hey. Hello. I uh, couldn't help noticing that woman in there in your office with you. She, uh, she your assistant? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, she is. She's quite a looker. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose. Yeah. She married? Uh, yes. I hate yeah. that. I hate it. Ah, but you know what? A guy like you, you probably don't even worry about that kind of thing, huh? <laughs> What are you getting at? I'm just saying, you know, working with her every day, you gotta be thinking about a little... <laughs> Hello, Montana! <laughs> no, 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 listen. No, come on, truth now. You gonna, you gonna go for it? You, you, you're gonna go for it, my man! Come on! All right, look, that is enough. That woman is a fine employee and a good person. She deserves better than to be objectified and leered at by someone like you. <laughs> I just wish her husband was here to punch your face in. 